Okie dokie, air in our last uh, video for our super our to-do list uh, GUI version. Uh, what we want to do uh, is take this kind of arrangement, um, it's not very visually appealing, and change it into something a bit more uh, you know, graphically nice, more compact and, and sensical. So let's take a look at what it's going to look like. Okay, it should look like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this to-do list put it here, take the display label, that's going to go here, you can't really see it yet because there's nothing there. The text entry widget is going to go here, the uh, list box is going to go here, and then all of our buttons are going to go right down here. Okay, so uh, basically, you know, to do that we use something called the Grid Geometry Manager. In our current version uh, here we use something called Pack. Pack is nice, it's very quick, it's easy, don't have to do a lot of planning, but as you can see, it's kind of limited in, in the types of things that you can do. Uh, and there are other options, but uh, the grid is much more flexible, much more powerful, but it takes a little bit of planning. Um, so let's take a look at this, this process. So what you need to do, um, now I did this on paper first, uh, and uh, I drew it out exactly how I want it to look. And uh, so what you need to do is you need to take this and then divide this window into a grid. And I did that, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so you can see I've got two columns, column zero, and column one. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows, and they're labeled zero through eight. Okay. So each GUI element has a grid location. It's like it's kind of like a spreadsheet. So column zero row zero, column one, row zero, column zero, row one, column one, row one, okay, column one, row two is the list box. Now the list box we have something additional, we have to note that it's not just one row, it actually goes over a number of rows, so one, two, three, four, five, six, actually I, I think I did it with seven but I guess there's a, a natural limit to the height. There must be a way to change that. But for our purposes, we'll think it's six or seven rows. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, now note, if you're using pack, you use pack. If you're using grid, you use grid. You cannot mix the two methods. So you, if you switch, you gotta switch 100%. Okay, so I'm gonna say goodbye to that. And I'm gonna scroll down here to where we created our uh, our GUI elements, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to see where it says pack, I'm going to change that to, let me just check my notes to make sure I'm doing it right, because I, to be honest, I do not have these things memorized. Um, okay, actually I didn't print out a version of that, so I'm going to cheat, I'm going to go to my uh, version that does work, and it's here, I'm just going to copy that, and go over to here and paste it. So what I would do is like that. So we just copy this. Grid pack, grid pack, packed grid, packed grid. Oops. Packed grid. So, unfortunately my screen's not quite big enough. So I'm gonna put this up over here. I'm gonna do this. Okay, so. All right, so I'm gonna start with title, uh, which is here, so that's zero, zero. And then my buttons kinda go down, zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, so let's do those. So zero, zero, and my buttons are in Row one, column zero. Row one, column one. Oops, no, sorry. Column zero, row two, row three, column zero. You just gotta look at the numbers and just basically go ahead and, and enter them. So, let's just 
just x, basically x, y coordinates. Five, zero, six, zero, seven, zero, eight, zero. So that's all the buttons. And then when you, if we come back to here, oops, cancel. Then we've got to do our second column. So that's our label is at one zero, column one, uh, row zero. So that's column one, row equals zero. And the input is at column one, row one. So column one, row one. So row one, column one. And then our list box is at Column one, row two. I'm just gonna leave it at that and see what happens. Row two, column one. Save it, run it, and hope for the best. Okay, so we've almost gotten there. Okay, so it looks it's getting there. Now you notice to do list, and there's a blank over here for the uh, display, add task, and this is kind of what we wanted. Um, so you can see it's getting there. So, but you see how the delete all and the list box are in the same row. Okay. So basically, you know, the computer doesn't know what we want to do. Um, the computer is just doing exactly what we told it. So we told the computer to put the list box in this row, and it made the row as big as it needed to be to fit the list box. So what we're going to do. Uh, Again, I'm going to go over here and cheat a little bit. Is we're going to use the row span property, and so for our list box, we want it we want it to span, so to go across. Let's see if I can find a copy of that. Let's close that. We want it to span one, two, three, four, five, six. I wanted it to go down here, but it's it's not big enough. So, but we'll still keep the seven. So if I go row span equals seven, save it, run it. Okay, so you see how it's much much closer. So now what we got to do is we got to kind of play around with the numbers and figure out you know what the width should be. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm go back up to my geometry. So let's try doubling the 400 and making that 400 see how close we get okay, so that's not what we wanted okay so it's a little too wide but it's a lot better so let's shrink the X a little bit shrink the Y a bit let's try 300 and 300 again it's just hit or miss I mean I could take a screenshot and measure it and that sort of thing but okay well that's pretty good uh, but that's not it's not terrible um, and yeah, it looks pretty good. It's a little, maybe a little too big yet, but um, I mean that's something we could, we could. I think we could live with that one. Um, let's see what I had in the original, uh, just out of curiosity. I had 325 by 275. Um, so 325 by 275, and right. And that gives us a pretty nice little compact window here. So if I go ahead and add task, oops, uh, take a nap, add task. Now notice it still has these in the memory. Um, so buy guitar, delete, delete all, take a nap. Uh, can't really sort it, number of tasks equals one. So we've got our nice little GUI, everything's arranged in a nice little grid. Um, the last thing I would do is, because I'm done testing and it works how I want it to, is I could either comment this out uh, or delete it uh, altogether. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And if I run in terminal, here is pretty much our finished product. So say, take a nap, because I've been working hard on this. Uh, actually, I shouldn't take a nap because I'm actually at work. Uh, so let's try something a little different. Um, you know, uh, check assignments. That's what teachers do. And add task. And there we go. So I could sort this ascending. It'll flip them around. Choose random. Check assignments. Take a nap. Check assignments. Take a nap. Uh, I got two tasks. 
So we're descending, and I can delete all. And that is it. Let's, any questions? You know where to find me.